all right i am back in munich so fired up i haven't been back in a couple years the reason i'm back over in europe is because i'm getting in a car and i'm driving to Utz, austria one of my favorite places in the world up until 2017 i used to come every year for what was called the sick line race it was one of my favorite races of the year it's just such an epic race amazing location so many fast people it's one of my favorite events and unfortunately back in 2017 adidas dropped the event so it hasn't happened for the last four years and it's been such a bummer because i used to come every year i could and it was just such an incredible event oh, it's just one of the sickest races in one of the best locations and unfortunately in 2017 they dropped the event but then this year a crew decided to put together another event so i'm super fired up that that's happening it's called utz trophy now either way no matter how the event goes i'm just so fired up to be back in utz and so fired up to see a bunch of people i haven't seen in a while on top of just the ability to get a chance to race on the Velo Booker again. It's gonna be so sick. Right now I'm in Munich, just finished all the flying, but now we gotta get in the car and drive about three hours over to Utz and hopefully get on the water today. Stoked. That's what I like to see. Made it. Made it. Obviously my boat and paddles usually come out at Overside, but there's definitely been a few times where my boat and my paddle to come out on the conveyor belt. And as it's like rounding the bend before I get a chance to notice that it's on the belt, it'll start like taking people out at their shins. And I just like have to run up and be like, sorry, sorry, that's mine, I'll grab it. Thought I was gonna get a, a car with some crossbars, couldn't find any. Then when I got here, I asked for it. They're like, okay, we can get you some ski racks. So let's see if I can make this work. Should be good. Not ideal, but I think it'll make do. Now it's got about a three hour drive to Utz. I don't think traffic gonna help the uh, chances of being able to paddle today. So stoked to be back. The good news is, despite all the Autobahn driving and all the windy roads, boat survived. Now I'm gonna go check into the apartment real fast. Hopefully, by the time I'm done with that, there'll still be enough daylight to run up and get a few laps because I wanna get on the water. One of my favorite places in the world. So stoked to be back. All right, I think I got enough time to go boating. Let's go. Ah. Oh, I'm so stoked. Yeah, I just made it into town, so I'm gonna get my first lap in like four years. Oh, stoked. Okay. Woo. Totally different. Crap. Water's definitely not crazy high. The nice thing about this course, even when it's low or even a little higher, it's always just so technical and a lot of moves. You really have to hit perfect because every little rock bump in this race can cost you the win. Yeah, it's always a great course no matter what. No room for error, really. Love it. Stoked. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna be great. Great week. So stoked to be back. I think I probably said that like 20 times this video already. The fourth lap, I think I'm just gonna call it after this one. One of the things just stoked to get on the water, at least get a sense of the course. And then tomorrow, I'll really start getting after it. Finish off strong. Or I won't finish off strong and say I wanna do 10 more.
I've basically only been in Antix since like North Fork. Definitely gotta remember how to power Nirvana again. <laughs> Not a bad start. Looking forward to getting a lot of laps throughout this week. 2011, that was my uh, my version of Into the Dip. Doesn't go quite as fast, and it doesn't go quite as long, but I'll go a good ways up. I don't think my boat liked me much back here. <laughs> we don't have anything in the apartment. Got wet money. Getting the grocery store wet. I'm a terrible person. Cheeto. Cheeto. That's far has gotten a substantial upgrade in the last four years. <laughs> well that was great. So glad I got to get on the water today. I would have been sad if I had to try to sleep tonight with all the time change and everything and have to wait till the morning to paddle, so. This is gonna be such a great week. It's gonna be so good back racing on the Velo Brooker. Looking forward to tomorrow. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's go! Alright, it's morning and the mountains are looking glorious as always. Slept surprisingly well last night, considering that uh, I usually struggle with time changes, despite the fact that I've had to deal with them a lot. And then slept pretty much the whole night and got up at like six, so. But sometimes I find the second night is the worst. But fingers crossed I can sleep good tonight. Got some stuff done this morning. And now I think I'm gonna start getting ready to go boating. It's about 9.45. Looking forward to get back up there. Yesterday I got a couple laps. Felt pretty good for my first few laps, but today's the first proper training day. Gonna have a couple of big sessions today, I think. Fire it up, it's time to get dressed, let's go. Before I go boating, there's one thing I wanna do first. Boom, gotta get this thing set up. Freshy! Yeah, yeah. The tent has a lot of things I'm super fired up on. Whether or not, you know, the system's faster, the stabilization is better. There's 4K 120 now, which is ridiculous. There's 5.3K. This camera is insane. But one thing that I'm super stoked on is that I always like shooting in 4K, obviously for like highest quality. And I usually shoot 4K Super View because I personally much prefer Super View because I find it just works for the best footage and especially on POV and head cam, I just find it's the easiest to watch. Whereas anything narrower than Super View, I find it a little bit more like tunnel vision. So I really like Super View personally. And one thing I'm super fired up is that one problem with the Super View on the nine is that if I did 4K, I could only do 30 frames at Super View. But now with the 10, I can do 4K 60 at Super View. So now even shooting at 4K and Super View, I'm also gonna have slow-mo. Might not be the uh, most essential here, but I'm thinking for like the stouts and things like that. Stoked. Anyways, enough about that. Let's go boating. There's nothing quite like being able to just throw all the gear on and from the apartment, walk like less than 10 minutes right up to where the rapids are and where the race is. <sighs> just love it. Somebody go kayaking. Minus one, I like it now. Yes. I like it's like a proper hole. Looking at the start list again, because it's been like four years. I was like, oh yeah, right. There's so many fast people. All right, I'm going kind of. They're all back to the like 75%. Definitely still getting pretty far back on a lot of the moves. Got to keep my weight a little more forward at times, but it's a good start. Here comes Jordan. I haven't seen him since the dam. I want him to go fast so that we feel good, but I also want him to crash because it would make my video better. Stop paddling so well! Oh, I almost had him. Phew! The guy with the strongest ADHD in the world. Fine. Someone that's about to go for a big old boof. Oh! Get it. Right. 
be my last one from the top of the session. I think actually going to be my last one. Normally I say that and I have like an okay run or still a pretty good run. Then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do one more. But I think this time I actually mean it. Nice to meet you, dude. Oh yeah. I'm not doing the slide after Champions Killer very good right now. I think it's changed a little bit. I thought it was gonna be pretty small. Uh -huh. Like a smaller year. Uh -huh. Because of just the first year. Yeah, sure. And like new organizers and stuff. Uh -huh. And I was like, I should go. But then seeing the start yeah, list. Talking, and then even yeah. once I'm here, Same. I'm like, oh, it's, it's Same, like sit line. Yeah. I saw it first, it's gonna be a local race. Yeah. I think that's a good start for a training session. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a quick break and then come back out this afternoon. Back to doing one of my favorite things. It's just pretzel bread, breaking down lap times. It's one of those races where it's not even like come down to a second, it comes down to like the milliseconds at this race because there's just like almost no room for error with this race. Like just a rock bump, just a little tap can be the difference between like first and third. Back up for my second session. I thought I did a lot more laps this morning than I did. It was only like 10. I would say when you get closer to the race, you don't want to be doing like 30 lap days, 20 lap days. That's actually not true. I love doing those days. All right. First lap, let's try to keep it smooth and fast. Smooth is fast. Yeah, let's go. I felt pretty good. I think I'm still taking a lot more strokes than I need to. It's just hard not to, especially on this course. I need to focus on each move and knowing what paddle strokes I want to do on each move. And then start filling in the blanks later this week. I think I'm still paddling a little too hard right now. Perfect, that one felt pretty good. Although, hit my right elbow so hard at the third boost of TNT. <laughs> How many laps have you done today? I don't know, man. It's like 15 or something. Oh, it's a slow day. <laughs> Woo. Solid, solid start to the trip. Definitely still a little rusty, but pretty stuck to some pretty good lines. Definitely looking forward to getting a lot more training over the next few days because definitely need it. Stoked to be back in Utz. And I think this is... No! <laughs> Stuff to be back. As always, one of my favorite places in the world. It's gonna be such a sick week. Stoked. Let's go.